Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek TV at Gen Con 2014. I'm sitting down with Zachary Haney. How are you? I'm doing good. Collapsible constructions. Yes. I have to say we, we were fascinating. We were walking around with a, a little um, a handheld uh, doing a video feed off of our phone and, and Adam happened to walk over to your booth and everyone, the, the response from people watching was like, wow, that's so cool. So we had a few extra minutes and we thought we'd love to just, you know, have you uh, uh, show your, your product really quickly because okay. I think this would appeal to a lot of people who are going to be watching this. Okay. Uh, let me just, the whole idea of it that what actually got me started was I like the idea of being able to play miniature games anywhere you want to and you can actually take it with you anywhere you're going. So the idea is I wanted to come up with strong, sturdy buildings that you could actually just be able to throw into your backpack and set up anywhere, anytime you want to go anywhere. So right now I've come up with the fantasy sets. So in this, the ones I have here actually are going to be the castle wall and the castle tower, which is modular. Everything is modular and they fit together so that way everything moves together and it doesn't easily fall over and get knocked over. But then the whole idea is that when you're not using it, in a couple seconds, you take the whole thing, break it wow. down, and it's flat, and it comes prepackaged in a plastic sleeve that you can actually then put in a three-ring binder. So you can take a huh. castle this big and get it into your backpack. Oh, yeah. Another example here, pop this one up, take it down, go down, it's all wow. completely flat. <laughs> the one that actually, and then actually setup time is actually exactly the same, just in reverse. You just pop it into place, same with the house, or not sorry, the house with the, the castle wall, ready to go. Right now we have castle towers, walls, gates, uh, crenellations for the top of the tower, and then also we have the village. We have the huts right here. When you're not <laughs> using them, you just grab them in the middle. <laughs> Squash. Squish it down, and then when you're ready to actually play with it, you put it out, Boing. and it's automatically ready to go. So Insta hut. Instant, instant hut there. So we're coming up with a whole bunch of different ideas for things that we want to be able to manufacture in the future as well, so we can get out there. Is this something, do you guys have a web page? Are people able to purchase things to your web page? Right now, uh, the Four Face Buddha is the name of the company. Collapsible Construction is the brand name that I'm trying to go with. Four Face Buddha is the name of the company. If you look for Collapsible Construction on Facebook, you'll be able to find us there. And then also, uh, fourfacebuddha.com is currently under construction, and I will be selling things through the web page as well once I actually get things up and going. So. It's all modular, and you can make something the size of this table and take it with you anywhere you want to go. So, in your backpack. In your I am backpack. having to remind myself to close my mouth right now because I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> it's that so much fun a... to actually design the stuff. Too. Now, uh, one quick question before you let you go. I mean, where is are you? Are, have you? Are, is this your design? That yes. I, do you have a background in like pop up or engineering? Once or? upon a time, I studied civil engineering, but. Um, now I live and work over in China, and this is something that I came up with because I saw a 2D map for a miniatures game, and I said, I want to be able to play that in 3D, so I just started thinking about how to do wow. it. Wow! I mean, because that's, that's the... I can only imagine the amount of math and engineering that would go into making sure that they can fold up and fold down it's very quickly. It's a iterative process. I've screwed up so many times, it's unbelievable. Um, yeah, so... And I don't know, one thing I wanted to show you, too, it's all printed... Oh, yeah, yeah, inside, inside too! Out, so... You can actually cut them down to look like ruins if you wanted to, and everything's always gonna look good, so. <laughs> That's my reaction, honestly. I am so glad you came over. Seriously, I ha I, I've, 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 I, I just had to shake your hand because that is remarkable. Thanks Those a are lot. fantastic. And thank you for taking a few minutes over to come show us this. Not a problem. Thank you guys so much. How much is it? Uh, for right now, um, we sell it since it's modular, and I want to make it available to people depending on what they how they want to put together. You can get two of these walls for twenty dollars. It's sold by the sleeve. It's twenty dollars for two of these walls, or a wall and a gate, or also there's thanks. Um, also there's uh, four towers that you can actually um, two towers per sleeve is also twenty dollars, but I'm discounting them to fifteen right now because it's my old design. Or you can get four of these houses for $20 also. Everything's modular. If you want to have a castle set up, it'd probably run you about $70 right now.